Since a few people have asked me about this, uh, I wanted to make a video showing how it is that I slap, uh, my slap technique, and this is mostly referring to this. And how do you achieve that kind of a thing. So, um, first and foremost, I wanted to talk and mention uh, about um, the way that I slap with one finger, and I actually use my middle finger to pop. Um, this is after watching a video, um, a clinic video by Brian Bromberg, in which he said that uh, he had a really good point, and he said that if you tilt your hand like so, uh, you notice that the middle or the index finger doesn't really have that popping motion to it. It actually remains on an axis. And so there isn't really any mechanical movement that would make it do that popping motion and as you see the rest of my fingers do and so the way that I actually have my hand positioned it's much more comfortable for me to apply that and you know the path of least resistance is a straight line indeed and so when I do this it's much more comfortable for me to just pop with my with my middle finger and so this is after you know um, it takes a while to condition your your finger to to do that instinctively um, but it really also depends. I think there's a there's a factor of where your base sits on on your body. Um, with my strap and how I sit, this is how I now um, have my base sitting on me. And so I prefer to have my um, my hand almost as straight as possible, just to have that minor curve on it, and not to have my wrist bent at all. Because no matter how much stretching I do, it, I always feel that I'm losing some sort of um, mechanics when I or some power maybe when I when I do it like that even when I, when I pick uh, with my fingers and even if I raise my elbow just a little bit it's just not the most comfortable thing for me and so having it somewhat straight like this um, really helps uh, the fatigue factor as well and so um, this is the way that I've been practicing this and so just to to make life simple and to get to that kind of um, that sort of technique as fast as possible um, the way that I practice this is just going you know once if you're comfortable with this movement and this kind of mechanism for for your hand uh, doesn't matter if you do it like this or this which whichever finger uh, once you're comfortable with that, um, do the same thing with two fingers. And once you're comfortable with that, you can apply the left hand to it as well. And then make it somewhat... And then you can make it musical, practice however way you want to, but at least you can achieve that kind of really cool um, percussive thing that it makes when it's kind of it's kind of cool so this is the way I practice it and this is the way I apply it once you get really f familiar with that movement you get comfortable with that movement you can apply it to all sorts of exercises you can there's likely a billion other videos explaining this in a far more articulated way than I than I do but this is the way that I practice it and I and I do encourage people to kind of check out Brian's technique um, I had the uh, the pleasure of uh, talking to him at the NAM show in January and I told him how I've started applying this and he, and he showed me some other things like you know um, the way that that he uses it on on the base and um, I asked him about two finger um, the two finger popping technique and he does actually use his ring finger to to pop and so this is something I'm still kinda still working on my my ring finger is still very very weak um, and so will your um, middle finger be weak as you're trying to implement that it takes a while and takes a little bit of muscle memory and conditioning to get that finger going so um, yeah this is this is how to get that going um, you can obviously expand upon it, do whichever exercises, there's you know, no right or wrong. Whatever feels comfortable, whatever feels natural to you, um, go ahead and do it. This is, how, this is how I do things and hopefully this helps.